Right guys, Mark Crossfield here, Ask Golf Guru Q&A, questions time featuring Stephen, the amazing hair buzzer. Hello. Jowled. <laughs> What's the question about Steve? Uh, we've got an issue. What's the issue? Fat, not topping then? Nope. Oh. I still haven't done that on camera. I normally can always do I that. Go. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> Right, Steve, hit me. What have we got? So, hi, Mark. My Hello. My name is Brett. Hello, Brett. Have we not already done Brett? It's trying to improve. Maybe it's another Brett. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Love the videos. Thank you. So, 15 Handicap has trouble with fat shots. Okay. Any tip will be nice. Thanks a lot. Okay, interesting one. Fat shots. Uh, common, common problem with fat Very shots. Um, when people hit fat shots, they often think, I don't know if you get this, but they often think they're hitting down too much because they, they're hitting the ground, so they think they're hitting down. What do you find? I mean, for me, fat shots is nine times out of 10, they're hitting up. I am from the ground. Yeah, it's not if I'm hitting up, it means low point is before the ball. So if low point is before the ball and it low point happens to hit the ground or be at the ground, there's a fat shot. Yeah, it's controlling the low point. Correct. There might be a number of reasons why you're not controlling the low point, but that is Kind of the and for me, nine times out of ten, it's behind. Yeah. So the reason I tried to catch that one at the start in that kind of surreal way is because that one, I hit mega down on it and the ball popped up. So that's... It I, the first time. No, yeah, no, absolutely. But hitting down on it, I find it hard to catch it fat. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to top it more than fat it. Hitting up, I absolutely always feel like I'm going to get the ground first unless I'm really, really careful with that strike. That, that's why you... People think the fat and the thin are completely different, but a lot of the time it's going in yeah. there, or you then lift up and you yeah. can, so it, again, it's low point. Is Absolutely, it's so a low point. If you think about it, the club starts on the ground, it's going up in the air, back down, hopefully near the ground, then back up in the air again. So it's got a low point, starts and then returns to some kind of low point and maybe below where it started if you're taking divots. You want that low point in front of the ball. You don't want to be hitting the ground first, then the ball, you want to be hitting the ball first, then the ground second, so hitting down with an iron we're talking here. So say I've got a seven iron here. I would want to be hitting about four degrees down, which means I'm hitting the ball, then the ground under and in front of the ball. Yeah. So my low point is controlled by being in front of the ball. That's right. How would someone do that for me? I get success with people who struggle with this by trying to get them to feel like they turn on top of the ball and then literally feel like they go ahead of it to move low point ahead. Sometimes it's as simple as saying to people, you're fatting it because you're hitting up. So your club is bottoming out before the ball. Try and not do that. Try and just maybe take a divot in front of the ball. Simple question, like, like, a, little, like a little suggestion like that. And they change it. It's the misdiagnosis, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And they think that, oh, I need to keep going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or they think they're going yeah. down too much and so they try to come up. Uh, and then, I mean, that's just not yeah. moving low point in any way. So it doesn't move the shot. Um, another one I do as well, which works quite well for people who really struggle with it. I get them to address the ball and then I move the ball off outside their left foot, keep the club where it is and ask them to hit it without hitting the ground first. It really makes them learn how to chase two or three like that and then I bring the ball back yes and then they feel that same movement and they're moving that hit forward of the ball and their strike improves straight away um, like you say the misdiagnosis I think most fat shots are generally people uh, confused with ups and downs controlling low point is absolutely thy answer don't you think no I totally agree Give that a practice, guys. Maybe try the drill with the ball outside the front foot. Try a few swings where you turn on top of it and feel like you go ahead of it. Just try hitting the ground in front of the ball. Simple as that. Just play. Yeah. Play with controlling where your low point is, your control your strike. If you can control your strike, you will be a better player. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Thanks for the question from the app. Thanks for buying the app. Post comments down below, as always. And we will speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video. Post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.